Yeah, you're welcome. We we'll quickly want to go through how we can join up on the bachelor class for Center for Distance at the University of Abuja. The first thing is to have access to the document itself. I'm referring to the timetable, which you can see on the screen here. The timetable is in four pages. The first two pages, they have courses, cutting across department for Mondays and Wednesdays. What this implies is that this lecture that is going to hold these courses that are to be taken on Monday for business administration are going to be repeated again on Wednesday for business administration. The same thing applies to economics. This list of courses, as you can see on your screen, that are to be taken on Monday, they are going to be taken again on Wednesday. The same thing applies to political science, public administration, sociology and all that. So, on Mondays and Wednesdays, this is the link to join the class. When it is Monday, you simply come here. When is the time for the for your lecture? If it is 100 level student, so you are taking bus 102. At exactly 9 o'clock, you come here and do a click on this link. It will take you to the class. But before doing that, you are supposed to have Google Meet downloaded on your mobile device. If you are going to be using your phone, make sure you go to your uh, your store and download Google Meet. If you are an Android user, go to Play Store. If you are an iPhone user, go to Mac Store and all that to have it downloaded on your mobile phone and install it. After you have done that, the next thing is to come to the, to the timetable. If you don't have access to the timetable, come to our website here, cdl.unabuja.edu.ng, then click on updates. There is a link there on how to go about it. So you, you know, there is a link there containing the virtual class. You see virtual class access. Click on it. Then you'll be able to see uh, the the timetable and as well as the link to your login details. I mean your email, official email address, and all that. So after you have successfully downloaded Google Meet on your phone or on your computer. The next thing is to log in to the Google Meet using your official email address. And that is the reason we have this section on the, on the website. When you come to update, click on virtual class access. It lists all the, the official email address so far created for our students. So you see we have well above 5,000 email addresses meant for our students. So what you, are, what you will need to do is come here and do a search on your name. If my own name, for instance, is Abiodun, you just come here and type Abiodun, you will see the email bringing out names that have to do with Abiodun. Then look through Abiodun World, it's my own Abiodun Mary, Abiodun Mary, Abiodun and all that, so that you'll be able to copy the email address that I've been created for you. So to every email address, we have a default password, which is U-N-I-A-B-U-J-A, Uniabuja in small letter. U-N-I-A-B-U-J-A, Uniabuja in small letter. Copy the email address and write out the match, I mean, the, the password somewhere, because you will need to use it. That's what you will need to use in logging in to the virtual class. This will give you the privileges of entering to the virtual class without anybody allowing you or accepting you into the class course. There are possibilities that you will do a click to join the class and nobody will be there to accept you. And at the end of the day, it's going to be a waste of time for you joining up on the class. Now, to join up, as, as we have rightly said, after you have gotten your email address and, and your password, download the Google Meet. After you've downloaded the Google Meet, then come to the timetable here. If it is Monday, come here. If you are in economics department, come here. Do a click on this link at the time your course is expected to take place. Do a click. It will take you straight to your, it will trigger your, your Google Meet. And after that, it will request from, it will request you to log in using a particular email address. It is possible that you have a certain email address on your phone prior this time but you need to be very sure that you have the official email address signed on your device 
and select it when you are entering the class because if you mistakenly use any Yahoo or Gmail or Hotmail or any email whatsoever that is not unionpija.edu.ng, the class will not be open for you. You will need to wait until somebody accepts you, which is very needless, okay? So what you do first and foremost is download Google Meet. After you have downloaded Google Meet, copy your official email address from here. After you have copied it, copy the password, which is Uni Abuja. After you have done that, you can go to Gmail and log in your account, log into your email address as you have copied from here. After you have successfully logged in, then come back to the timetable here and click on the link to join the class at the very day. So if you look at the third page here, you will see it has Tuesdays and Thursdays. That tells you that the, these remaining courses were not covered on Monday, but they are, they are going to be covered on Tuesday. So the same course will be repeated on Thursdays. That's the reason you have Tuesdays and Thursdays. The same course will be re repeated on Thursdays. So all these courses that you're seeing here, they are to be done on Tuesdays and on Thursdays at this exact time. But the first two pages, the first two pages here have courses that are to be taken on Mondays and Wednesdays. And let me also point this out. If you're in business administration, and you are expected to, to take certain courses that are not your departmental course. For instance, you are going to be taking GST course. You can see on the list of business administration there is no GST there. So you have to come down and search for the time for GST that you intend to take. You can see for, but for business administration 100 level student, they are expected to take GST 102. You can see it has its time different from the time of your home class in business administration. So you come at the exact time you're supposed to take it and click the link directly below GST and other courses. Do you understand? Which means that the link for business administration courses is not the same link that sociology students will use to enter into their SOC courses. The same thing applies to general study courses and other courses, for instance, geo, GST, accounting, this is one and all of that. So this is the link for them. And these courses now will be taken on Mondays and, on, and, and Wednesdays. And to join it, you click here. You understand? So the, the default password, as we said before, is this. So in a situation where you do not, you do not have... You don't have your email address please feel free to contact us so that you can have yours so long you are a student thank you